welcome to the Eugene Tordo YouTube channel. I want to thank everyone that's subscribed so far. And if you aren't subscribed, go right down there and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share with your friends. Leave comments below in the YouTube section down there. Well, that's supposed to help my channel grow and pay for all this stuff that I do. Anyway, if uh, you can see in this video, I have my target top off. And uh, I have two target tops. A transparent one back there. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, the one that I leave on during the summer with this uh, carbon fiber vinyl wrap. Transparent one's getting ready to go back on as soon as I'm done the carpet upgrade. And uh, in the future, I'll be doing a video about this spring. If you want to see what that's all about in the C4 Corvette, uh, you won't believe the price that I paid for that spring. And guess what spring it is? Uh, if you don't know anything about C4 Corvettes, I, you definitely need to either go down there and subscribe, so this way you get notifications, hit the notification bell, this way you'll keep up to date what it is, and, uh, or just check back on my channel. But anyway, get on, I'll just go over today what I've done so far. As you can see, I'm down in my workshop in my basement. You can see my seats are out right there. And I see cushions are down here on the ground, on the floor in my basement. And I'm going to go over the uh, insulation material just real quick that I'm using. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here. I'll leave links to all this down in the description box. Uh, this I got off of eBay. This is a uh, it's a lightweight foam material, really, what it is. And... Uh, it has this uh, luminized heat shield on there, you know, it's supposed to reflect heat and all that and insulate and insulate the heat and the cold and the sound. I don't think this is going to be as good as Dynamat. You know, uh, when you insulate, from what I read, you want to use a heavy material that dampens the floor vibrations and all that. And uh, this is actually a lightweight material. I think that's the reason that sold me on this. So that's lightweight, where a lot of the other stuff you're adding uh, adding weight to your vehicle, and uh, I'm gonna go. And I also have this material. Hopefully, you guys can all see this. I'm jumping over stuff, and uh, I don't know if you can see this material. This also has uh, the aluminized material on it, and this is more like a, a felt material, about a good quarter inch thick. I'm going to use both of them. This here I actually got used off of a uh, off someone on a Cure Vet Furum. Only used the material in the back, and this is the front forward only. And uh, I don't know if I'm go going to add more sound deadening to the back. I probably should. And uh, yeah, there's the cat running around. And uh, anyway, I'll. Uh, shoot you guys directly upstairs to my garage and uh, show you where I'm at in the interior okay here we are out in the garage and uh, in case you haven't seen my last video I probably left links up there if I haven't already to uh, where I just went over the carpet real briefly and uh, I believe I had the seats in in that video, but here you can see the seats are out, the seat belts are out, and you can, I don't know, you should be able to see that, I hope, uh, how bad that floor is, and the carpet is, and like, especially if you, uh, let me see if I get a better shot here, Whoop, there we go, right here in this area here, oh, my uh, gimbal is acting up, but anyway, if you look here, you can see how dark it is, and then it lightens up back here. And, of course, you can see the speaker cover is how it's supposed to look. I also need to get front speaker covers. Uh, I contacted Wilcox, and uh, they are saying they are not available. I don't know. I'll search around. They said to just get some uh, type of thin material and cover them with that. And... Uh, So I ain't too worried about it. It's really only the driver's side that's worn. 
and uh, I'll probably maybe I'll just clean that up like I did the rear ones and see how they come out but uh, this carpeting definitely needs to come out and of course I'm going to be removing the door panels because the door panels have carpeting on them uh, there's carpeting here and then here this is a 90 Corvette and there's carpeting underneath here that's all going to get replaced and uh, that's probably going to be more pain in the butt than actually doing the carpet on the floor. That and removing all the center council and all that. Of course, I'm putting a new head unit in. And I had unboxing videos. I'll leave links up there if you guys haven't seen them. And uh, let me see if I can find the bolts for the uh, seat belts. Yep, oop, here they are. I got all my seatbelt stuff in here. And, uh, see if I can find the one that I am looking for. But one of these was partly stripped. There, there it is, right here. Basically, I just took a uh, next larger size torque bit and hammered it into it with a uh, ball peen and then uh, it came right out I uh, actually just went and used my air ratchet and uh, it's the first time I used any of my air tools in a while and the first time I used my air tools since I installed this rapid air air uh, plumbing system that's that blue hose and connectors and everything and uh, I have a video about that. I'll leave a link to. But uh, anyway, like I said, if you're new to the channel, check out the rest of my videos. Uh, go down there, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Uh, or just subscribe. Uh, subscription's free, so if you want to, just subscribe uh, temporarily until I uh, until you see how the carpet comes out. If you want to see that. Also, I'll give a little bit more of a review on this. Anyone who owns a C4 Corvette uh, usually have know about their center councils, especially if they're old beat-up ones. And this is a leather cover that you can get. Uh, it's actually very good. This is the first time I covered it with a leather one. I may redo it. Uh, and if I do, I'll go into the video on that. And that made a big improvement to the appearance of it. Didn't come out uh, perfect, but it was the first time, and I may redo it. It's uh, not bad. The other things that I have also replaced in this interior and uh, is the uh, shift boot and the shifter knob, leather shifter knob, leather shift boot and leather shift knob. And I'll be refinishing the radio bezel and the uh, cover right there. This is actually a replacement one that I don't like. It doesn't, in my opinion, fit well. Got a big gap there, and uh, the stock one is going back on. I'm going to refinish it with the bezel, and when I do that bezel, I'm going to add a couple of outlets there, and I might even hook up a power antenna switch that disables the power antenna, because even though I use my radio a lot, I actually just listen to music from my USB stick. I never actually use the radio. So, anyway, uh, I should be getting on, done, done this weekend. And I'll post, I'll be posting this video this Saturday. And then the following Saturday, Saturday I'll have the video on how the carpet came out. And uh, then uh, a week after that, I'll have another video on that spring I showed you down in the basement. So uh, please go ahead, like I said, subscribe, share, you know, like, dislike, you know, leave comments down in that comment section. Uh, and, uh, I hope uh, everyone enjoyed the video. It's just a short one uh, overview of what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to go into a full detail of it. I'll go into, I'll try and just video things, any problems that I run into. Uh, like, uh, I don't know. Like, I am going to be doing some fiberglass work on these floors. Because in the past, this, uh, people have gone, jacked this car up incorrectly. And uh, it has been repaired before. But, uh, like I said, just go down there, subscribe, and, or check back on the channel uh, a week from now or a couple of weeks, and you'll see how things came out. Anyone, anyway, thanks for watching, 
God bless. Everyone have a good day.